This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. At a very simple level, vSphere Replication takes a running virtual machine and replicates it over to a data store. And that data store can be in the same site, it can be in a different site, it can be under a different vCenter server. And that replicated virtual machine is called a replica. It's not up and running or anything like that. It's just living on a data store. And then if there is a problem, let's say the actual running server 01 goes down, then we can bring up the replica on an ESXi host. Now one of the terms involved in replication is RPO, which stands for Recovery Point Objective. And this has to do with how often the replication happens. So if server 01 went down, we brought up server 01 replica, then would it be exactly to the point in time when server 01 went down? So it would be exactly the same? And the answer to that is no. The recovery point objective is how much loss of time are we willing to sustain? So the best we can do with vSphere replication is 15 minutes. So if server 01 went down, I brought up the replica server 01, it would be the server 01 from 15 minutes before server 01 went down. So we would lose 15 minutes of data. If there was data transactions that went on during those 15 minutes, they wouldn't be on this replica. Now normally 15 minutes is pretty good. Uh, we can set it back further. It can go all the way back to a day if we want, and that means replication happens less. So if server 01 went down, down we brought up server 01 replica, it would be from a day ago. So here's a look at what vSphere replication looks like, and it completely integrates with the vSphere web client. It uses vSphere replication appliances in order to facilitate the replication. And those appliances are basically just pre-configured virtual machines. So with vSphere replication, we have the ability, again, to like replicate server 01. I could replicate it over to San Diego. And then if Phoenix went down, I could bring it up or recover it in San Diego. And that's about it. So that's as far as vSphere replication goes. Now there's another product VMware has called Site Recovery Manager, and that product isn't the replication technology. It can use vSphere Replication as its replication technology, or it can use another third-party replication technology, like something that's built directly into a SAN for replication. What Site Recovery Manager does is it allows us to set up a plan for recovery. So for example, if I have a failure at the Phoenix Data Center, I'm replicating all my virtual machines. Let's say I need my domain controllers to come up first. I need then my databases to come up next. Then my uh, web application servers. Well, we can build that plan in Site Recovery Manager, and then it can automatically bring up all the servers in the event of a failure. And it can bring them up in the proper order. So it's an automated or it can be partially automated way to fail over. In addition to that, we can test our failover. So with vSphere Replication, once we recover a, a virtual machine to a, another site like San Diego, then the replication is kind of done. Uh, there's, we've got to reset up replication in order to get the virtual machine back and running in Phoenix. Well, with Site Recovery Manager, we can actually test the, the failover while we have the original still up and running. So it allows us to test our disaster recovery plans. In addition, Site Recovery Manager can facilitate fail back. So if Phoenix went down, we failed over automatically to San Diego with Site Recovery Manager, we got Phoenix back up, then we need to fail all of these virtual machines back to our main site in Phoenix. Well, Site Recovery can do that. But again, Site Recovery doesn't actually handle the block replication. vSphere Replication can handle that. So we can use vSphere Replication to do that, again, or we can use another third-party replication tool. Now, Site Recovery Manager is a, a separate purchase, so it costs extra. 
vSphere replication comes with your vSphere Essentials Plus and above licenses. So your standard, your enterprise, your enterprise plus, all that's included or vSphere replication is included in all those licenses and it's an unlimited amount of replications. So I can rep replicate as many virtual machines as my ESXi servers can handle and the bandwidth I have available. So that's that's my only limitation. 